Hello, all you beautiful humans. We are going to do an install of Aether nodes on Windows. As soon as the Linux coding is done, I'll put out a video about that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this install. All right, they did a pretty good job. Uh, all the links are gonna be down below, but they did a good job with this window client. Um, it looks nice. And uh, so you're gonna go to app.aether.com, link down below. You're gonna click client for Windows, click that. It'll start your download up here. <clears throat> While that's downloading, Go ahead and connect your wallet to this page. So I use MetaMask. So Dr. Wookie, click next. I'm gonna click connect. And if you haven't already, it'll give you a, <clears throat> a little pop-up that says wants to switch networks to Arbit Arbitrum Sepalia. That's the test net. Go ahead and confirm that as well. And then after you do that, it'll send you to the signature request for your app.ether.com. Once you sign that, it's gonna load up your wallet. Now, everybody only has one license delegation, no matter how many you purchase, because this is just test net, which means all this is test coin. It does not roll over. But of course, I wanna test this out, make sure everything's green and good to go, so that once we are live, um, I don't have to mess with anything. So after that download completes, go ahead and obviously click it so it opens up. It's gonna open up a, a install window. Click accept, next, 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 finish, okay? After you do all that, it's gonna pop up this guy. Okay, <clears throat> so it shows that I'm running offline. If this is your first time opening it, it's gonna take you to the wallet first, okay? It's gonna have import wallet or create a wallet. You cannot import any other wallet. You can only import a wallet for that Aether has made for you. So you're gonna have to create a wallet. This is a delegated wallet. What that means is this wallet is given permission to run your node. So don't put any money in this wallet. Um, don't worry about it. It doesn't own your nodes in any way. Okay. So this is just a burner wallet. Now, right now the team has not fixed this, but when you click export private key, there's a dot, dot, dot. And so you can't actually import this burner wallet into your MetaMask, which is kind of annoying. But once you get that uh, made, get that copied, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the web browser page here, uh, which of course looks really nice. You know, they got a nice little breakdown. You're going to go to licenses. <clears throat> it's going to show the one license you have. You're going to click delegate. You're gonna enter that address. You're gonna paste it right in there. So that wallet that's attached to you can run this node. Now, when this pops up, sometimes it gives you this like $5 billion of ETH on the Arbitrum Sepalia network. So we're gonna let that sit for a second and see if that <laughs> fixes itself. It usually does. In the meantime, you do have to have some of the testnet Ethereum, okay? So link down below takes you to this l2faucet.com slash Arbitrum so that you can get some of the free um, uh, Ethereum that you, you're gonna need. So you'll select the token, you'll select this one, Arbitrum Sepalia testnet, the 0.1 ETH. So just click that, don't put anything here, okay? Then you go back, you paste your wallet address here, then you're gonna click get tokens. It's gonna take you to, well, it's gonna pop this up for me. So put that in, <clears throat> okay. Um, so it's gonna take you to this guy. Now, <clears throat> once you get here, all you're gonna do is click a test and get my tokens and it will send you over some tokens. That's how easy it is. So this one was the easiest one to use. Other ones, they like require you to have Ethereum on the main net and other things. So that was the easiest one to get some test net token. Let's see if this has fixed itself at all. It is not, let's click reject and see if we can get it to uh, try to fix itself here. Delegate pending. What do we do if we click undelegate? So we're gonna try this again. Delegate, let's paste the address in here. Delegate, come on. All right, so I might just have to wait for this to pop down. Um, I've seen this error on multiple of them. What if I just have to do it a number of times? Guess I'll let you guys keep watching this just so that we uh, see if we get through this together so you know how long it takes. Paste, delegate. As always, there's bugs. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just keep rejecting and click, keep clicking accept until you're able to finally do it. Oh, now, now I'm getting an internal JSON error. That's super cool. Let's see if it went through anyways. License, nope, it did not go through. Failed, okay. Let's try again, I guess. It's always fun whenever you run into uh, issues like this, of course. All right, let's see if it'll let us do it. Confirm. All right, it went through that time. So you guys can see you just have to do it multiple times um, and then it's able to get through. 
Um, so then we're going to go back to our dashboard here. This should update here in a moment. License approval. Approve the operation. Delegated. Go back to the dashboard. Delegated license. It's working. And uh, there is a setting here where you can enable launch at startup at some point. It's not that way yet. So, of course, if your uh, thing, you know, turns off or something, then when you're or you're computer updates, then you'll be able to just have it where it turns back on and it'll start running right away. You can't close this, otherwise it'll stop working. So you just minimize that bad boy. Then of course, on the dashboard here, you'll be able to see that it's delegated, it's working, total reward is zero for the moment, and we'll see how this continues to progress. So that's the simple, quick, and dirty Windows one. I will throw up a Linux one whenever I get the code all set up. As always, stay warm, please. <laughs>